Okay. In this sum, length is 100, width is 70 and height is 80. Now when you see from the front, you will see this portion as well as this portion plus you will see this incline. So what we will do, we can draw this incline portion plus when you see from the top, you can see this portion, this and this. So if you see circle is in top view. So first we will start with circle where diameter is 50 and diameter is 70. So first we will draw these two. First you mark center point in your layout and draw two circles. One is radius 25 and other will be radius 35. Then if you see in top view, see they have given 34. So what we can do, we can take from center point, we can take 17, 17. So from here we take 17 up, 17 down and we will extend this. So this part is not. We need to erase this part because it is not there. Then they have given C in top view, they have given 8, 8. So that also we can do and have given distance 70. So what we will do from here we will take 35, 35. And we will take 8 from here. It from here. And we can join, we can extend this line. So, this is also not done. And if you see in the main diagram, they have given 22. So, what we will do from center will take 11, 11. can extend this line so we are done with this much now this length we don't know so for that we need to draw front view and then we can get this length so now we'll see the main diagram in main diagram first we will draw this slope to draw this slope they have given how much 70 so we have to take 35 35 on both the side and height is 40. So what we will do from here we'll go up by 40. We'll draw a line. We'll take center. We'll take 35. 35 on both the sides. And we'll join this. So we'll get this diagram slope. After that, if you see, we have given again 22. This 22 that we can project from top. So our diagram would be like this. Then, if you see, they have given uh, 17 down. So from top, you can go down by 17, and you can draw one dotted line. See, see in the main diagram, this dotted line is this what I have drawn just now. Then I can go down by 43 and again I can draw one more dotted line. Why? Because I can't see this from front view. So what I can do from here, again I will go down by 43 and I can draw dotted line. So from these two points, if I project line straight down and from here also straight down. So then I will get my remaining top view. Now see there is, there are two more lines which you can't see from the top view. 
these two lines you can't see from the top view. See the main diagram. When you see from the top, you can't see this line which is going inside from the top view. So those two lines we have to draw as dotted line. So we are done with top view. Now we'll see front view. Now in front view, uh, now in front view, we will see this part. See the main diagram? This part. So this we will take it from top view. Wherever it is intersecting, from there we will take vertical line. So we will get these two lines. And they have given one more rectangle. If you see the main diagram, they have given one more rectangle which is of height 15. So that also we can take from this projection. See in top view, if you see the main diagram, there is no dark line over here. See. So what we need to do? We need to remove this as well as this line. And there is an edge. If you see in top view, this. So that we need to draw. So for that, we will extend from here, it will come here, here, as well as here and here. Now we will see side view. When you see from the side in main diagram, you will see this part, you will see this U shape, then you will see another U shape which is inverted and this side portion. So what we will do, first we will draw the middle part, they have given, they have given a 34, so we will take 17, 17 on both the sides, height is 40, that we can draw, and again 8, 8 on both the sides. This height we know, that we can project from front view. this as well. Now if you see side portion, see in the main diagram, this part, that we can show by extending this line. We can draw the remaining portion also, this slot, if you see this upper slot, that we can project from here and we can extend from here. Then, now we have to draw the outer part. If you see the main diagram, this part. So, what we will do, we will project from the top view. See, in top view, these two points are important. This is the extreme edge of the circle and this is that intersection point. This I will explain. See the main diagram. In the main diagram, if you see, this is that point. Same way, this is that point. That means when you see from the side, you will see this line, which is the extreme edge. As well as you will see this line also. So what we will do, we will project from top view. See this. We will project from here. Both the sides. And we will take it up. See, when you project at 45 degrees and when you project up, this is your extreme edge. So that you will get it over here. Same way on the other side, which will be here. Now, this part. This part. So when you project from here and here, 
So you will get the projection like this. See. So what we need to do? We need to darken only this part. And then it will join. And the top portion will be done. Done.